Hey guys, it's Tom here, and welcome back to SCP Time Ridge Keto Mode. Now, we are doing the same seed again because that seed was unrealistically good. I've got it on my phone, and it is H four U T R six I one H four U T R six I one H four U T R six I one. That is the seed. Okay, that's that's the seed right there, and that's what we're going with. Right? I'm sticking with it because it was a good seed. Like, a ridiculously good seed. Well, I mean, we ended up getting the, a good way. Um, so, hopefully we end up getting that same way again, like, in the same order. Because if we don't, we could end up in a completely different part of the facility in the heavy zone and entrance zone. It could be dog shit. So, hopefully we get it right. But, um, who knows? Alright, here we go. Let's watch this through the screen. See how it goes down. We know how it's going to go down. And then once that's done, we can get on with the... Uh, Get on with the run, and hopefully we don't die straight away, because obviously, even even though the seed is the same, obviously where the SCPs are and stuff will be different, because that's just down to how they want to move around based on their coding and shit like that. So, they won't be the same. But the seed will be the same, the layout and stuff. So, let's get going. Let's wait to get our sprint back a little bit. That'll do. Right, I forgot that instantly you get like plunged into this four-way room that could instantly kill you, but that's fine. We're, we're no worries, all right? Don't even, don't worry about it. I say that a lot. I say don't worry a lot, all right? Because it's true, you know? You shouldn't worry. All right, it's good. I've got to remember this time that the security room is near the very beginning, so hopefully I do remember that. The game is so loud at the beginning. All right, there's the room with the other gas mask in it. Close that, because we don't even need to go down there. So who wants to open that? No one. Because once him free could be in there, he could fuck you up. You don't want that, alright? You don't want to get fucked up. Unless you mean in terms of going to a party, in which case maybe you do. Alright? But in terms of SCP, no. You don't want to get fucked up. Even if it is about drinking, because then you're going to be absolutely drunk in this facility. And do you want that? It's already confusing without being... I don't know what I'm talking about. Alright? It's just a tangent that happened... Alright, <laughs> I don't know. I don't know what I'm talking about. It's talking random shit, but that's basically what these are now. We just try and beat Keaton mode while I talk about absolutely random shit. Sometimes it's related to the game. A lot of the time tangents just happen. This is a tangent about going off in tangents, so that just kind of proves the point. Alright, what we got going on here? We got a level 1, we got an empty cup that we always pick up by accident but don't need. I would like to drop this instead of read it. Please, let me drop it. There, No, don't. Don't pick it back up mid-air. There's no need for skills, alright? No skill shots. Drop it on the floor. <sighs> Fucking hell. Oh, shit. Oh, I shouldn't have done that. That was... I mean, it could have been behind me, so I should have done that. But at the same time, that could have... <laughs> I could have been dead there and then. Alright. Definitely don't want to touch the scroll. Can you save at the screens? No, quick saving is still disabled. I mean, technically, that's not quick saving game. Just saying. That's like a... A regular save because it's at a screen, but whatever. Okay, I don't know why I'm leaning in real life, like as if I can see further around. This isn't VR, me. Stop being weird. All right, but I'm sorry that uh, there's been a lack of videos recently. I honestly don't really have an excuse. I just kind of kept waking up and feeling like you know, I just, I just didn't want to record. I don't know why. I was just in a really shitty mood for the past, like, three, four days. Um, but I'm okay now. I woke up today and I was like, hey, I want to record. I'm actually super in the mood. Let's go. So I've already recorded Dark Souls. Shameless plug, I know. Go watch it. Uh, <laughs> and uh, so now I'm recording this. I always like to record this at least second. Because sort of, I'm by the second video, I'm sort of in the flow of commentating a bit more. And um, because, obviously, this has got so many episodes at this point, the commentary really needs to be... Uh, as on point as it can be, because otherwise it's just going to be the same the same thing over and over again. So hopefully me adding talking random shit in every episode spices it up a little bit. Or maybe it just annoys the shit out of everyone. You know, I, I don't know. I'm not psychic. This is the internet. Everyone has different opinions. We're back at the beginning. I didn't really mean to do this. Uh, this is the security room, which we haven't been this way, so I'm going to go past it. I do remember coming back from this way. Yeah, okay, yeah. Uh, can we get in with level 2? I don't think we can. I always forget if it's level 2 or level 3 to get in them rooms. 
Oh, let's back it up. See, if only this game... Well, I mean, technically it is. Well, not on Keto mode. I was going to say, if only this game was like Altered Carbon, the new series on, on Netflix. I'm not... not a, that sounds like a sponsor. It's not. I wish it was, but it's not. Damn, imagine being sponsored by Netflix to just randomly drop... Drop a mention about one of this new series. No, but in this new series that's come out, I binge watched the entire thing in one single day. Um, I think it was like 12 hour long episodes. So I didn't really have anything else to do that day, as you can imagine. But uh, it is kind of like that in this because obviously you can respawn, but not in Keto mode. So basically, the, the, the thing is, people don't have like their own, well, they do have their own bodies, but they have these things like in the back of their neck. Uh, it's called a stack, which is basically your consciousness put onto a memory chip basically uh, and if you die they just cut the chip out the back of your neck and put it into a new body and you carry on living but if that gets destroyed your consciousness is just gone like you're that's it that's real they call it real death because you're actually dead like once that once the stack in your neck gets destroyed you're permanently dead you can't be brought back unless you're super 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 rich and you can upload your consciousness into what's essentially like iCloud and back it up. But for whatever reason, I guess because it's probably a lot of storage to store that much memory. Um, it costs like a ridiculous amount of money to store your, con like have a backup of your consciousness uploaded to this like database. But anyway, so basically what I'm saying is this game is kind of like that because when you die... Other than in Keto mode, when you die, you can just respawn because you just load the game back up, right? But in Keto mode, it's like when their stacks get destroyed and it's permanent death. And I'm not rich enough to have the backups. Except I technically could do that because I could just copy and paste the file into a separate folder. When it gets deleted after I die, I could just then copy and paste it back into the saves and reload it. So technically I could be a rich asshole, but I'm not going to. I don't know where that came. Again, just talking random shit. I just thought with Altered Carbon because... Of, you know, dying and coming back to life and stuff. <clears throat> but yeah, just made me think of that series. Because I was going to say, if only this game was like that series, and when you died, you came back to life in a new body. But then I was like, wait, technically it is. <laughs> and then Keto mode is like when somebody purposely shoots you in the back of the neck. So you stay dead. I don't think we got this last time. I'm not sure, but I don't think we did. So that's a good... Good little bonus for this extra little uh, run. I knew he was going to be in there. You've always got to check that room. Motherfucker is everywhere. Oh, don't do that shit. Okay, so we don't actually need to go in the refinery anymore. The only thing we need now is the key, the ring, and the other mask. And then we're good to go. And we know where everything is now because we've done this seed before. Hopefully people don't mind me doing like the same seed again. But come on, this is literally one of the best seeds I have ever seen in my entire career <laughs> playing SCP. Not really a career, but, you know, in the entire time I've been playing SCP, this is probably one of the best seeds, especially for Keto mode, because, come on, you want speed, violence, and momentum, or, I don't know, what does he say? I think that's what he says. Minus the violence, right? You just want the speed and momentum. That's what you want. There's no violence here. We're we're just a guy trying to escape Libby's life, you know. All right. So the only thing we need now is the gas mask, which we know exactly where that is because it's just through here. So this is actually now that I know the seed, even better than I originally thought because I, obviously I got a little bit lost in the in uh, the first time I played this because you know new seed, don't know what's going on. Got a little bit lost and couldn't find the security room. Now that I know exactly where everything is because I've played it once before. God damn, this seed's even better than I imagined. So that, that's it. We've got everything straight away that we need. I, I don't want to say this could be the one because obviously you never know. Because once M3 could spawn behind you somewhere, you could get bullshitted. You might press the button and then bang, before the door's even fully open, the bullets go through it and kill you. You never know. But I'm feeling good about it. The fact that we're playing a seed that we know... I feel like it could be pretty good. Uh, so the security room should be literally right here. No, wait, 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 wait. So no, to the right. There we go. It's actually, I didn't realize how good this seed was. Everything is so close uh, to the beginning. I was about to press F5 to save. Can't do that, Tom. Get your shit together, man. What are you doing? I'm going to shut that for now, even though it's pointless. I don't actually... Never mind. I was going to say, I don't think one 7 could spawn up here. 
Well, turns out, definitely can. Oh, don't be fucking serious. Alright, well, I guess we're going to have to leave and come back. Because if he's up there, it's impossible. Because we can't face the wall <clears throat> to flip the switch. Because it will just kill us instantly. And even if we close the door, it's going to get opened again automatically when the event starts. So, we're going to have to leave and come back. Oh, I could put the mask on. Because he can't come down the stairs. So, it shouldn't kill me. Alright, I'm going to put the mask on and that, hopefully he should leave. I mean, if we leave the door closed, uh, where could I, where's the safest place? If I back myself into this corner, no, 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 no. back myself into this corner, so then I can't accidentally press the button. This is probably the safest corner. I'm gonna get in a nice, safe place up here as well. Oh, also, I just remembered coming here. Someone give me a, re a whoa! What the fuck just happened? How did we? What? Oh, it's there. I was like, what just happened? Where did he, like? bridge go. Someone made a really really good suggestion that I've somehow never thought of. They said, you can use the 966, it is 966 right? No, sorry, the one no, 966 is the arsehole, they, they can go fuck themselves. The uh, 1499 dimension as storage because it doesn't matter where you move in the normal dimension, whenever you put the mask on, you come back to the same place. So like for example, if I came here dropped loads of extra med kits, right? And then went back to the real world, which I will do now. Or the other world. And then if I go... Look, if I'm, I'll show you, for example. For those that don't know. If I move over here. And then go back. You spawn in the exact same place. It doesn't matter if you move in the other place. You, you come back here. Where, wherever you last took off the mask, that's where you come back. So, I can't remember who it was that made the suggestion. But goddamn, that's a good suggestion. Like, if you just want extra med kits or extra pills or whatever... You could just teleport to the other dimension, drop them on the floor, take the mask off, and then doesn't matter where you go in the, you know, the real world, they're going to still be there when you teleport back. So that's a really good idea for storage. All right, hopefully he's gone. Looks like he is. Yeah, okay, he's gone. There we go. The, the mask is useful for many things. That scared the fucking shit out of me. Oh, that sent, sent a shiver up my spine. So we know that this doesn't work. Uh, just sit in here. It sounds like he might be stuck, which probably means 173 is there. Never mind. It's okay. 106 is spawning. 106 is spawning. Uh, this is the wrong way. We need to go to the uh, the left. This might be a death right here because 106 is spawned, which is making me panic. And I'm sprinting around like a dick. Alright, no, 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 no. Let's chill, chill your beans. What, what am I doing? What am I actually fucking doing? I've got the mask. He's gone. What an idiot. I'm sp Oh no, this might be a death. 106 is spawned. Mate, you got the other mask. Just put it on. Oh, Alright, it's fine. I was just being a moron. It's like I'm from Moron Mountain or something. You know? Yeah, who gets that reference? I think that's right. Maybe I got the reference wrong. If we don't get it, don't worry. It's probably just me getting it wrong. You fucking what? Bang! Fucking dead. 360 to the nose. He's done. Oh shit, this is a dead end. See, this is what I was saying about going the wrong way. What, what am I doing here? What has happened to my frame rate? Please. Please, frame rate, come back. I'll never take you for granted again. Okay, it came back. The frame rate is tanking a little bit, I have to say. Uh, not sure why. Hey, this is the right way. I can hear 0096. Uh, I was going to say 96. Not the same thing, Tom. I mean, it is, technically. Whoa. whoa, whoa, whoa. Alright, heavy zone. Let's go. We did it. One episode. We're the best. Alright. We're not really. We knew the seed. But that seed is actually even better than I thought it was before. Now that I know the layout, it's like, oh, shit. Like, everything is actually literally right next to each other. But, um... Hopefully I remember the layout of the heavy zone. We don't actually need anything except for the level 5 keycard. Which if I remember rightly, the level 5 keycard and the zombie room were like next to each other. So that's really good as well. Uh, so hopefully we can get that done in one episode again. And maybe even get a bit further through the entrance zone. Uh, because obviously as soon as we go in, the electric room is there. Which means we go in, turn the switch off and then come straight back. The only thing I haven't ever found on this seed is the computer room. Which is obviously, you need that to escape. So hopefully we can find that 
before we go to the entrance zone to know where it is and go straight there, electric off, straight back, talk to the computer, electric on, and I haven't checked the door to the left. Like, you walk in, the electric room's straight away on the right, and there's a door to the left. If that door on the left is a gate, like an exit gate, 100% best seed I have ever seen in my life. Even if it's not, this is still a really good seed. But anyway, I'm waffling on, and that will be it for today. So, oh, just needed a quick drink there. That will be it for today. Uh, so yeah, thank you so much for watching. If you enjoyed the video, don't forget to hit the like button, leave a comment down below, or subscribe to the channel for more videos. Any of that stuff is massively appreciated, and I'll be super turning over to any of it. <laughs> yeah, so again, thank you so much for watching. As always, I'll see you in the next video, and goodbye.